let's face it, orange is in and trending in more ways than one. We're wearing it, we're binge watching it on Netflix, and it's that perfect pop of the color in the sky that's getting us out of the past 150 days of gray. I like that and you did that. now we're putting more of it onto our plates. Here to add a certain citrus to our snacking lifestyle <laughs> is lifestyle expert and SipTees.com founder, Nicole Young. Yay! Welcome, Nicole. Good to see you again. We love it when you come here. Orange, orange is the new black, snack. literally, orange is the, the new snack. Black. It's the new snack. It's the new everything. What's great about orange is that it's so versatile as a flavor. Mm -hmm. It can go savory. It can go sweet. It's one of those ingredients that you can really just kind of blend into anything. And the juice from the orange is also a right. great addition as far as flavor. Perfect for Zest summer, all the way too. in the juice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we're starting out here. This is a, this is a snack. snack. I eat a ton of almonds, but not with orange. Not like this. So I started off with some smokehouse almonds because mm -hmm. they already have that smoky flavor built in. They have mm -hmm. a little bit of salt already. Mm -hmm. So on the stove, I combined some bourbon, a little orange juice, honey, and butter. And a good. pinch of cayenne pepper because it's not really spicy, but just to give it a little kick. Right. I brought that up to a boil, reduced it down, maybe a little bit, maybe like for five minutes. Then I tossed in about a cup of the smokehouse almonds. Oh. Get them really cool. Coated. You want to bake them at 350 for 10 minutes. Take them out, shuffle them around a little bit, put them back in for another five till they get nice and crispy and golden brown, and then voila, and then try it. I gotta tell you, they're so, so good. Aren't they nice? They're really good. Mm -hmm. It's like people are expecting almonds, but they're not expecting that flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, a, really... it's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit spicy. Ooh, I love it. Spicy, a little bit oh, salty. So good, Isn't that nice? I'm glad you like it's it. Love that. Party snack. Now this, this is cute. This is one of those things that this is like another one of those wow snacks because people always expect you to have salsa, but they're not necessarily looking for it to be made with orange as opposed to like tomatoes or right, mango or right, anything right. like that. So I'm gonna have you guys actually make this together. Uh -oh. okay. Here's your station. Oh, okay. my station, your station. Christina, that's your station. So we've just taken what you so just. This is just orange. orange segments. I use navel oranges because they've got a lot of flavor mm -hmm. in them. Chunked up the segments into little cubes. Okay. Now you're gonna add parsley. You each mm -hmm. have some parsley. Mm -hmm. Whole thing, lemon juice, mm -hmm. okay. some chives, mm -hmm. and then just a little bit of olive oil. Just pour olive that oil. in there. Mm -hmm. Take your mm -hmm. spatula, blend okay. it together. Salt and pepper or no? After you blend it together, I'm going to have you add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Yeah, pushy. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I'm sure she's, she's there. prepared in terms of flavor. We don't want bland line. stuff, right? I understand. So All toss right. that together. Go gently though, because you don't want to okay. break up the orange segments and they're really juicy, so you don't want too much of the juice to come leaking okay. out. Now you're gonna just add a little salt and pepper to taste. Ha -ha. See? Uh -huh. You're right, boom, boom. <laughs> as boom, much as boom. you like. And boom. There you go. Switch. Switch. There you, there switch. There you go. That's good. Okay. Give it another little bit of a toss. Mm -hmm. And now you would chill that. You know, you could chill it overnight because then it really, all the flavors marry together and yeah. it really just kind of like marinades the oranges. Yeah. But if you chill it for like an hour, it'll be fine too. And then I like to yeah, serve aperitif. in these little cute <laughs> mini <laughs> martini so glasses. Cute. I'm a huge fan of the simple serve thing. I love this. Here we Try go. it. See what you think. Ooh, that's delicious. Mm, Isn't that's that nice? That's really good. Such okay. a nice, unique flavor. Something that your guests, if you're doing this for a party, they'll never expect it, but they'll absolutely love it. Definitely tastes like a salsa. Too. You could probably put that on a fish or a chicken. If you mm -hmm. wanted to put that, you could actually throw this into a pulser, into the uh, food processor, pulse it a little bit, and then put that on top of some grilled so salmon. Oh, good. It'd be delicious. Ow. That's amazing. Right? right there. So easy, too. So easy to make. I'm just here for the cocktails. I mean, as we know, I, when we I know see Nicole's what JD name goes. On the he just go. wants to <laughs> drink. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this is that it's kind of a combination of a cocktail and a dessert. This mm. is my blood orange rosemary crush. Mm. So what I did was I took a couple ounces of my punzone blood orange originale. This has got blood oranges from the Calabria region yeah. blended with Italian vodka. Fantastic. It's mm. also organic. Try this. Okay. So and I blended it here? with some orange sorbet. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Two cups of ice. Ooh. A little bit of orange juice. Okay. And then I made a rosemary simple syrup, which is just equal parts sugar and water. And I let uh, a couple sprigs of rosemary steep in there for about right. 20 minutes. Wow. And I blended everything in the blender. So it's really creamy. And then this you just so freeze good. it for a little while. Mm. Isn't that nice? That is so this is good. a great Garnish it with some mint, a couple sprigs of rosemary. It's just the most refreshing thing in the whole world. This is like something for poolside or a yes. party outside on the or deck. Or if you don't have a pool, you could feel like you do. You feel like you do. The TV. Exactly. Just, in eating this, it's the best. Here's what I have to try. Mm -hmm. so Jesus, does, this, does this lid come off? It, it does, does come off. Why don't you pour some I'm going to pour a little bit in there. Exactly. I got do a shot. shot. You could so also I'm not doing a <laughs> shot. <laughs> what it's really nice to do also is put a scoop of the slush into a champagne flute and then top it with the blood orange originally. Oh, I'm just gonna keep wow. eating it because it's Try amazing. It 
I just gotta know. Look at this. Let me see what you think. Oh, that's, that's good. Fabulous. It was really good without it, too, though. But now it's a little really, extra. It's really, really good. No, you I said know. you used uh, navel oranges for this? I used navel oranges for this, yes. What for you is, is the advantage of one orange over another? The navel versus... It's really a flavor thing. I mean, the navel oranges, you can see they're so bright in color, mm -hmm. and they're equally as bright in flavor. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's what's in season. It's what's available. You can use any type of orange. You're going to get that really nice flavor. I'm I'm kind of jealous now. You need to hook me up with some of really? Girl, don't yeah, I'll step over. Sister, I'm going back. Fact, why don't you I'm going back to the look. almonds because those are the best. Nice nice That's awesome. We'll take care of you. Nicole, we love it when you come by. Thank I you so love much. coming These to you guys. These are great ideas as usual. Try it out. I am so yeah. glad you like it. It's really right. good. I got a mouthful of almonds. I don't care. <laughs> Stick around because later on in the show, Nicole is going to school us mm. on the ABCs of spring party planning. Oh, that's good. We'll be right back.